Helios Wire is building out a satellite enabled Internet of Things network and what that means is that we have Spectrum and Spectrum is the right to send data from Earth to space. It's uh, highly controlled, hard to get, highly regulated by the UN and we happen to have a ton of it. And so we're based in Vancouver, uh, we're building out of satellites down in San Francisco but that's the 30 second overview of uh, Helios, it's a satellite enabled Internet of Things network. So the business model is to build up little tags about the size of your phone. Uh, these things are solar powered, they're independent, they're standalone, they're stickers, you can attach them to things and they'll just beep data to space. Kind of whatever information you want, location, elevation, temperature, proximity, you can hook them up to other sensors, industrial, transportation, oil, oil and gas, whatever it is, the data just gets beeped to space. And if you have one satellite, it'll pick up a beep every 12 hours. If you have two, every six, if you have four, every th if, if you have 30 satellites, every 15 minutes. So we have enough spectrum to track up to 5 billion of these little devices for maybe a dollar a month. So it's hugely disruptive, we have lots of competitive advantages, and we think we have the ability to really disrupt the existing satellite IoT network with something that is much cheaper and just kind of good enough. That's, that's, that's kind of the philosophy of, of uh, what we're doing. So I'm based in Vancouver. Our first two satellites are being built down in uh, San Francisco. They're small. They're about the size of a couple of uh, backpacks. They, they, and they cost a few million dollars. The first two satellites are being launched next summer. Uh, and then over the next three or four years, we'll launch the rest of the constellation. And so the plan is to kind of spend some money, allow revenue to catch up, and then basically build out the rest of the CapEx, the rest of the spend, as the customer and as the market demands it. So we fit into the satellite IoT market. So there's an existing industry, it's about $2 billion a year. It's not particularly large, but there's only four or five competitors in it right now. And each of them have spent billions of dollars building their satellites. They're huge, they cost $300 million. We're coming into that with something that isn't streaming video, high bandwidth, satellite phones, that's not us. We want to get kind of the middle of the portion of the market where it's just a good enough service. It doesn't cost four or $500 a year, which is kind of what the market is right now. It's literally $20 a year, just kind of good enough, allows us to scale. And that's what we think is really our competitive advantage to come into an existing market that is typically based on huge capex, huge, huge costs, huge expend, uh, uh, expenditure, and come in with something that's just kind of good enough and allows everyone to scale. So I just wanted to thank the 121 Group for hosting us here. Uh, this is the end of the conference. We really had two mandates. One was to meet with investors, and secondly was to, to uh, start to meet with some local companies here, potential customers, corporate investors, things like that that we could partner with to get into the Asian market. And on both of those, we far exceeded our expectations. It's truly been a fantastic conference, and we look to do it again as soon as we can.